I'm Kristen Copeland. I'm Don Schiffman. Caitlin Conley was like a daughter to Dr. Mary Yoder. Conley worked for the front office of Yoder's family chiropractic practice for four years. But tonight, Conley is under arrest, charged with the doctor's murder, and police say she poisoned her to death nearly a year ago. It is your top story. News Channel 2's Jolene Ferris joins us now live here in the studio with the details. Jolene, good evening. Thank you, Kristen. Dr. Mary Yoder died in July. One of her family members felt something just wasn't right. They contacted the United County Sheriff's Department, and what followed was an intensive investigation involving multiple agencies in two counties, even Utica College's Cybersecurity Forensic Center. Whitesboro chiropractor Dr. Mary Yoder went to the hospital July 21st. July 22nd, the 60-year-old physician whom her patients describe as the picture of health was dead. In October, a family member contacted the Oneida County Sheriff's Department. It was a family member who just didn't think that, the, uh, that something wasn't right with the death in itself. The Onondaga County Medical Examiner had done an autopsy. In December, they ruled Dr. Yoder's death a homicide. Yesterday, a sealed indictment charged 23-year-old Caitlin Conley of Oneida Street in Sequoia with Dr. Yoder's murder. Conley worked in the front office of the business Yoder and her husband share, chiropractic family care on Oriskany Boulevard in Whitesboro, for four years and was close enough to Yoder that she was listed as one of her children in Yoder's obituary. Police say she poisoned the doctor with colchicine, a medicine commonly used to treat gout. The doctor did not have gout. It's something she had to research in, in order. Well, this colchicine, like I said, it's used for gout medicines, but this, the colchicine in this case was a research-grade colchicine. Um, it, in this case, it's a more pure form than the pill form. She did order it. She did get uh, delivered to her, and, and that's all I'm going to say at this point as far as how she obtained it. Conley is charged with Yoder's murder and also forgery, falsifying business records, and petty larceny, which would seem to point toward a financial motive. We'll have more on motive at 6. Conley, meanwhile, is in the Oneida County Jail without bail, but she does have a bail hearing tomorrow morning in Oneida County Court. We'll be there. Back to you.